Hello, magical tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Champions of Kryn with me, Blue Angulo, where everywhere we go, we are harried by random encounters. We can't even go to a town without getting murdered. So we're going to be probably relying on magic spam a lot more to get through these early battles because our hit rates are, well, heart garbage, hot garbage, basically. And uh, we need to, well, I need to win these fights a little quicker because they're, they're driving me a little crazy. We're even inside a house that is theoretically a safe place, and we get attacked by roughnecks. So, like I said, this is why we've got all these stinking clouds and stuff. I need to save enough to, like, explore a bit. But, uh, clearly we need more stinking clouds and stuff like that. They're pretty good anti-casters, they just don't have very long range. Of course you don't get the actual casters. Okay, that's no charm person at least. Uh, now we do have our uh, extra thief for the moment. Maybe our extra thief can shoot the cleric. Yay, two hits even. Nice. We'll clear this out. Honestly, the stinking cloud was pretty good. Wait, are you casting already? We just hit you! <laughs> well, I can't do much about it with Aaron here. Uh, this is why we keep a couple reserve magic missiles. It's just, it feels bad using a lot of resources for a random encounter, like five steps away from the beginning of this dun- uh, the like five steps into the episode. You know, we just got started and we're already in. Uh, burning through our spells, and we don't really have a lot of spells. I guess that's too far away. Uh, we're gonna go quick attack. What? Oh, I hit quit instead of... Done. Not quick attack. Auto attack. There we go. There we go. We could have got a backstab if I wasn't on auto battle, but oh well. Okay, well, 300 experience. Pixel gets a level up. We get a bunch of garbage again. We should probably heal Pixel again because, you know, every battle is life-threatening. Now, I was thinking about it uh, between streams a little bit. Depending on how things go, I might turn down the random encounters a little bit. Um, there is this setting in difficulty level here. We've been playing on sort of normal in the middle here so far. But uh, technically, I can put it down to novice, and it's either less encounters or smaller groups of enemies in at random encounters. Uh, but that means less experience, technically. Of course, you could do larger encounters if you wanted. But, like, it's getting pretty monotonous with the random encounters already, so... I definitely don't want bigger ones. At least not right now. So, yeah, just inside this house, there's just roughnecks everywhere killing us. Okay, is there anything worth exploring in this dumb town? Graveyard? I guess Mercilia did say you should you should try to find last episode the uh, what was the guy's name? I forget the guy's name already, but the leader of the town guard that's probably a necromancer, ghoul, something. Let's save it. See what's in the uh, the graveyard. You've entered the quiet of the burial glen. Most of the graves look as if they've been dug up from the inside. Yeah, you're really surprised here. Undead rise from the open graves around. Well, at least there's no spellcasters, right? The ghouls are bad. Zombies, not so bad. Does anyone remember if there's a range on the turn ability, or is it just everyone on every enemy on the map? It might be ranged. 
might be like more effective at short range. I don't remember. I don't really understand the mechanics for uh, turn undead very well. So forgive me for I do not understand. For whatever reason, Tim is better at turning, but uh, that was much more effective. Maybe we're just not. Maybe we need to be higher level clerics to turn uh, this current set of enemies. Oh, these are gas? Oh boy, Tim. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, I'm so glad I went to the graveyard where the enemies get three attacks per turn that all paralyze. Boy, this feels like Marsh Cave again. They actually get three attacks per round. <laughs> uh, great. These guys are so much stronger than one of my characters. Wow. Wish I had some fireballs. So maybe we can't turn gas because they're high level undead. Oh, no, we got them. So if you turn things, they don't uh, give you any experience, but at least we survived somehow. Uh, great. Great. Tim, uh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. I love when you basically uh, get one shot by Paralyzed Touch. Yeah, that's a great mechanic there. Healing up to full almost seems pointless when we're just going to get <laughs> one shot by that. But it's better than just getting killed normally. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I don't really know where we're going exactly. I'm just headed to the west right now. This seems like kind of a tunnel, but you can walk right over the graves, I guess. There's supposed to be an office in here, so that's where I'm trying to go. Well, Roughnecks wandering the graveyards. Good start. What else we got? One guy up there. We need someone that can kill him. Tim? I guess I should stop learning sleep spells if they don't actually work anymore. Well, we're fighting a lot of undead, so Stinking Cloud won't work on undead. Might as well uh, use it on the Roughnecks. That's pretty good. Backstab and a miss. Mages dealt with. I need to buy some more arrows for Maselli if I want to keep using her bow. Another backstab miss. Two for the price of one. <laughs> Just finish him off. He's got four HP. Step. Yes! 27 damage, we finally did something. Oops, forgot about that. Sorry, Tim. This might be a backstab. 
course not. Also, the music got a little bit loud suddenly. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, warrior, fighter, evil fighter dude. He surrenders. Punk. Alright, another 300 experience. Another victory, technically. Sure feels like we're just barely hanging in there. Cure light wounds on Tim. And... Cure more light wounds on Tim. Okay, I'm gonna save again, because you can save anywhere, but I'm gonna use B-slot in case we're doomed. Metroid and FF9? What's the name of the... I didn't check the name of the last song. This song is, uh... Zagnol Comes, Festival of the Hunt. The last one was Ambitious Whispers. Alright, so we've saved. Let's keep going here. I'm hoping this is the target. You have found a silver rose bush. A single bloom shines in the sun. You pick the bloom and the bush withers. Suddenly, the sun is blocked by swiftly moving shadows. Black shapes swirl down upon you. That looks a lot like a black dragon. Good thing we saved recently. I swear I'm not following any kind of guide or anything. I'm just, you know, gamer sense. My, my gold box sense is tingling. Well, I mean, uh, we killed a couple white dragons before. These are only a little bit stronger, and there's three of them. Okay. They get, uh, oh boy, a lot of attacks. You guys, you guys want to see what uh, black dragons are all about? Let, in case you're not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, let's talk, uh, where is it? Where's my C? Here we go. Let's let's talk black dragons. So, black dragons. They have uh, two attacks. I guess they have two attacks one round, one attack second round. Unless, yeah, they've got like. Five out of two attacks. Five, five attacks per two rounds. Um, their basic attack's pretty weak, though. 1d4. Um, but their second attack is 3d6. So that'll be the big bite or something. And uh, they have an acid attack, which will do their HP and damage, unless you save throw. And it's pretty hard to resist acid, so uh, that's bad. So, uh, yeah. Now, do we have anything nifty? Like, yeah, somebody's got a uh, a wand. Let's start trying to kill the dragon up front. So, Aaron, kill nine damage. Good start. Uh, nothing here is going to make any difference. Can't backstab large enemies, if you're wondering. Uh, most spells won't work on them. What we might try to do is split up a little bit, so we're not all grouped up together. Tim takes 24 damage, Thor takes 12 damage, Rob is one shot. Before Rob can even get a turn, he is just instantly killed. Excellent! I love black dragons at like level 2 or 3, level 3 or 4 I guess. Uh, he was probably the one with the Ice Storm wand, right? I didn't do nothing, Rob! <laughs> the dragon just swooped in out of nowhere. I really need you guys to hit this dragon. He doesn't actually have that much HP, so... Just kill him off. Dang it! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! Okay, one dragon down. Uh, yeah. Come on, guys. Tim! There's no time for this. 
we need to bandage. Kill. We're going to split up here a little bit. Drell's fine. That was only 12 damage. Okay. This is this is fine. <laughs> Drell takes 24. Sure be a great time to be uh re re good at saving throws. Come on you guys, you got to hit it. You got to hit it. 10 damage. The who pack. Whew. All right. We're good. We're good. Nothing to worry about. 900 XP for the survivors? Probably something magical. At least some gems. Congratulations! Even more experience for the people who are alive. Well. Uh, Rob and Tim. That's the problem with bringing a pure mage, you know. <laughs> uh... Well, we can get them back on their feet. If that helps. <laughs> Not by much, though. So, that's all our heals. Yeah, let's just put a bless on. I don't trust this at all. Yeah, I mean, Rob only has 24 HP, so the Black Trick can just one-shot him no matter what I do. <laughs> let's uh, make another save, this time on C slot, let's say. Because we might still be in bad position here. Um, let's just head on in. <laughs> this room is stacked with bodies from the open graves. You watch in horror as they begin to twitch and move. I'm hoping that if we survive this fight, then we've cleared the zone, right? I believe. Because the truth is, undead at this moment is not worth the trouble. Turn. If all we're fighting is undead, well, we can kill one. But yeah, undead are actually not that big of a deal thanks to our Majir Cleric. Really should be happy that we've got a Tim Cleric on the team, honestly. Because, uh, I think the dragon was the hard part. Whoa, we got experience for that even though we just turned them all? <laughs> nice. Because that was the boss fight, right? We got bonus. <laughs> that was a that was the boss fight, even though the the dragons were like twenty times harder. Uh, a periapt, a wand, and a scroll. Let's give those to Rob. He's the mage of the, the primary mage. Okay. Well, uh, let's save. A oh yeah, I love not being able to save when I want to save. Thanks, gold box. Um, where's my list of names? So after word eight, or sorry, uh, we'll go beginning to play. So I'm just searching my notepad here. Beginning to play after the heading, we're page two, word eight. It's load. What a load. Not letting me save my game. That's, that's just terrible. All right, we're trying to save in, let's say, D slot now. I don't trust anything. Okay, we could try to fix or heal or whatever, but that's cheating. Let's clear this place out. Oh, we could just leave. That's it, we're done. The town's cleared. Well, I actually don't know where that will take me, to be honest. It could be that we're done, though, after clearing out this room. I must stay. So that was the way out. You can't even step into this dumb town without getting attacked. By the way, they have uh, lightning bolts. We don't have lightning bolts yet, but they sure do. <laughs> this is so dumb. I just, you know, it should have been very easy to get to the uh, inn and heal up. Of course, you can't enter the town and take a step. Anyway, these guys, if we're quick enough, won't be too bad. Uh, 
Uh, we're doing a lot of bandaging on... Oh, wait, he's not dying this time? I can't even tell because my gold box crashed. Um, but it doesn't show me any uh, bandage command. No. Thanks, Lightning Mage. Alright, hold person. I hate it when the AI has it. I love it when I have it. On you guys, just get me to the end. I have no idea what their HP is because I can't see the bars anymore. You have to check each character individually. Aaron has lots of HP though, he's a pretty good tank. Ooh, Tim is not looking good. Hold on. He surrenders. Okay, we're not done yet. Um, come on, guys. Just get me to the inn, please. Welcome to the inn. Do you want to rest? Heck yes. Take any room in the corridor ahead. First room on the right. Please let me actually heal. <laughs> There's a loud banging at the door. The innkeeper shouts, Hey! Deadbeat, get out of my inn! When you open the door, he looks at you in astonishment. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, I'm terribly sorry, hun. I'm getting feeble-minded. Carry on. What? He said, go rest in any room. I rested in a room and then immediately kicks me out. <laughs> what is going on? A crackling sound fills the air. Your door shatters. Get him! They killed Skyla. I, I didn't kill Skyla. He ran off. What are you guys doing? I'm just trying to rest a little bit. That's not good. Oh, this is real bad. We're dead. <laughs> we are dead. Oh, damn you, game. <laughs> I guess we should have tried encamping out of the city, but I knew the inn was right beside the beginning of the city. I figured it'd be easy, and then we'd have a safe spot. I'm not expecting this. Like, Tim and Trow are actually dead. Not even just unconscious, because that lightning bolt. Wow, game. Not cool. Uh, is there any... There's no way to just get out of here either like the problem is if you die and you're like let's just reload there's no re really easy way I just have to close the game well then let's say going back into town's a bad plan then ah <laughs> uh, that's what our D save was for right so It would appear that going north from the zombie uh, the zombie room was a bad idea because it left the town and then Misella left us. Let's just see if we can rest here now that we cleared the boss fight out. Yes. So I was getting I made it way more complicated than I needed to. No. <laughs> no. Well, they let me uh, recover my HP, but they did not let me recover my spells. 
Which is kind of weird, because the only way you can fix is if you can actually heal up. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Two for three is decent. Get this guy. Now, Marcel is in a Missel is in a pretty bad spot here. I realize, kind of not safe. Rogue is done. Hey, 33 damage backstab. There you go, Jarrell. So the question is, after this fight, do I try to rest again? Or do we just accept that we're healed up a little? Hmm. Well, he surrendered. Bit of experience, basically nothing. Okay, well, because I was able to fix, I want to try saving, obviously. And uh, we're going to fix again, which is technically supposed to be using Cure Light Wounds and uh, restoring, like, normally you shouldn't be able to heal up without being able to rest for some time to actually cast, heal, Cure Light Wounds and then recover your spells and then cast it again, but... I'm not going to argue, the game gave it to me. Uh, I actually probably lost all of my gold box companion save spells again because, you know, reasons. But I don't think we're actually going to be able to rest here. Let's try to guess the spells we cast today. Shouldn't be too hard though. Seeing as it's always cure light wounds. Sometimes detect magic. Hold person... Stinking cloud. I'm just gonna try this one more time. It might not work. And then Drow is only on heals. No. All oh right, just a cleric. Okay. No. No stinking clouds. Okay. Let's try one more time. Six hours. Oh, we're getting them. We could get interrupted any second, but cool. So save. Now we're actually full power again. We survived the dragons. We survived the undead, but clearly there are still some guards that want to kill us. So where do we go from here? Is there anything else in the graveyard? I assume that was the target up in the top left there. Was that... Uh, maybe I found, like, the only way into the graveyard, too? I wasn't... I wasn't... Like, I really wasn't following a walkthrough or nothing, but... This is an office. Oh, this is what I was looking for, then. We were looking for an office by the graveyard. I thought it was the place... Maybe we should have came here first, and that would have told us to go to the flower at the back. There's probably a quest with a periapt and everything, and I just skipped it all did it backwards. Oh, well. This is an office. The room is incredibly cold. You find a page from a journal. You record its contents as Journal Entry 71. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. 
Mirtani is gathering his forces in secret around Sanction. We won't be ready for a few weeks yet. My minions have started gathering materials for my use. Several graveyards have been looted already. Many of them left... Many of them have left the open grave sites unfilled. I suppose it can't be helped. Stupidity has always been our most dangerous enemy. Mertani has found a dragon lance. Ooh, I need one of those. I urged him to give it to his strongest warrior, but I am afraid that the draconian... The draconian don't trust anyone who could hold that much power. Foolish. He's gonna hide it away in Sanction. We need to go to Sanction right now. Remember how those dragons were causing me trouble? Someone like Eren with a dragon lance would one-shot them. So yeah, that'd be cool. Dragon Lances are very, very, very powerful anti-dragon weapons. And in the Dragon Lance series, there's a lot of dragons. Okay, a little bit of information, but nothing else. That's the way in. Unless there's more in the graveyard, we might be done. It's kind of just a big open area. I mean, of course there's undead forever nothing happens Tim you're the only one that can turn these undead efficiently do it you didn't do it Jural, can you turn them yet no Thornum big powerful dwarf Got the ghast? Hey man, that's better than trying to fight the ghast manually in my books. There is still another ghast or two though. Okay, not great. So 18 HP, huh? Alright, Thorin, I'm trying again. There are gas and ghouls. They look the same, so it's difficult to tell what's what, but uh, we did successfully uh, turn them all. Of course, you don't get any experience for that, but hey, man, those fights are scary. Let's try to keep Misselia a little bit healed up. She seems all right. And then we'll top Tim up a little. All right, let's see. There might not be much more point exploring here. Tim the tool man, yeah. <laughs> Alright, well I feel like whatever we're doing here in the in the uh in the graveyard, we're probably done now. Sleep and uh, unfortunately my Rob, my mage here, doesn't really uh have anything to do against undead. That was a pretty good turn. That was a bad turn. Heh, good enough. I don't need to grind XP right now. Alright, let's call this a reasonably well explored uh, graveyard. Let's get out of here. Now, where should we go? You find an old grave digger. Maybe we should check out more of these houses. He looks up in glad surprise to see you. He tells you of the graveyard to the west. Well, yeah, we've been there. But let's have a look at what he says. I've been kept out of the burial grounds now for a week. I can't even get in there to my, get my tools. There are strange things going on in there. Open graves, broken tombstones, strange noises. Even the animals are gone. That Sir Le bomb is running the town. That's the guy we gotta find. I wonder if that was one of the goblins we, or one of the zombies we killed. Um, or gas or something. But yeah, Sir Le bomb. I'm trying to find this guy. He even made his office in the Burial Glen. It's in the building just to the south and west of here. But the door is through the graveyard. That's another strange thing. No one's even seen our new leader, at least. Nobody that I know. Uh, he gives his orders and the guards carry them out. Things just ain't right. So I found the office, but there was nobody in there. The top left had the dragons and the periapt. Whatever that is. <laughs> Something. 
and uh, the bottom right had the uh, the office with some notes about the Dragonlance. So we've cleared most of these random houses. I'd love to like clear this town out <laughs> so that it's maybe safer again, if that's possible. So I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. Or if that's even possible. I mean, the random encounters seem to have died down a bit. Which is very nice. Bash him! Okay, so that's the magic shop. Don't think we ever went in here. Just a random house. Maybe we have killed all the random encounters finally. So the last time we went to the inn, something, some event happened and then we died. So let's uh, save and try this again, because this seemed to be an event. Welcome to my inn! Take any room! Yeah, well last time that was a good joke. So what happens this time around? Fix? <laughs> There's a loud banging at the door. The innkeeper shouts, Hey deadbeat, get out of my inn! <coughs> Excuse me. When you open the door he looks at you in astonishment. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, huh? I'm getting feeble-minded. So... I don't understand what he's trying to say. Is that him letting someone else in that's looking for us? A crackling sound fills the air. You, the door shatters. Get him, you hear. They killed Skyla. I don't think we did kill Skyla, but I want to kill these guys, that's for sure. Last time around, they immediately lightning bolted us and we started dying. So let's see if we can do a little better this time. Uh, that's one thaumaturge is dealt with. It all just comes down to good turn order, which... Well, I wish there was a better way to set it up, but I don't think there really is. Eh, Stinking Cloud will do it. See, that's the funny thing, right? If we go first and use some spells, these fights will always be very easy. Um, but if we don't use magic or, you know, we don't get to go first... They can be almost impossible. <laughs> it's unfortunately kind of the difficulty swing in these games. It's kind of weird. Might as well throw uh, rocks and stuff at the guy in the corner. Stop throwing darts at me. I'm the one that throws darts. <laughs> well, I will be taking a break once we're done clearing this town out to get a drink and a snack myself, so... If you wait a little bit longer, it'll, cute, it'll match up with the stream break, too. Now, I think we'll go quick battle. I mean, auto battle for the last bit here. Oh, now we can just walk over there, of course. It's kind of nice, I guess, early on. Uh, Stinking Cloud lasts longer based on your level. So at some point, it becomes a really annoying... Like, it blocks... If you cast it in the wrong spot, you have to waste time waiting for it to clear before you can actually, uh, you know, move through. Anyway, that fight went a lot better with no uh, lightning bolts, so... Good. Uh, we'll give Rob some darts. Nothing else looks magical. Okay, so what 
is the deal here? Are we not really allowed to rest in this inn? Is that the secret? Wow, we're spending a lot of Cure Light Wounds to try to heal Mor Mor Morelia up. Mycelli up. Cure Light Wounds is not very good. Okay, let's try... Yeah, we, uh... The innkeeper bursts into the room. Help! Robbers! Thieves! Another man bursts in and says, They've caught him! He's at Jerboam's house. The innkeeper bows. Sorry to interrupt. Pray, continue. Are we just never allowed to sleep here? <laughs> what a dumb inn. Okay, I think I get the hint. I don't know why we got attacked exactly, but I guess he's working for the guards. So, okay. I don't know Jabom's house, though. Welcome to the ale house. You hear tavern tale number four. Okay, I'll read you guys one tale. While we're here. Tavern tale number four. Where's my tavern tales? There they are. Hey, Jarklack, what in blazes are you doing up in the slums? Yeah, rubbing shoulders with a local scum. Tavern tales are... I don't, know. I don't think they mean much. No more drinks. Then you must leave if you're not drinking. Wow, rude. So, should I try the house that Skylar, whatever, sent us to? Because this was where he originally sent us to get ambushed. Huh, seems to be empty. It only happened to once. We could try the house that uh, Marcellia sent us to. I know we can rest there. But we might be done in this town, to be honest. I'm just looking for any kind of last events. Like this guy. You are greeted by a large man. So as long as you've got Marcellia, I guess he just takes you to uh, a place to actually rest. So this is your alternate safe spot, sure. Did I, uh, did I ever store my spells? <laughs> Probably did not. Nope. Okay, let's, let's restore them again. And then this time I'm going to memorize, and then this time I'm going to save them and hopefully not reset GOG. Charged back up. Let's use Gold Box Companion to remember those, please. Unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of good luck with Gold Box Companion. You know what? I think we're probably done this area. So let me uh, let me pull up my clue book to see if I actually missed anything or if we're actually done. Because I don't really know, and I don't want to spend too much more time just wandering around randomly. Sometimes these old games don't explain things super well. Okay, so this is uh, Jellic. We may have done everything. So what was uh, 16 and 13? I think, actually, it's not random tiles. It looks like um, it's specific spots in the graveyard where undead will attack. So uh, it's not a random encounter. There was actually just tiles where they got triggered. That's neat. Um, so then 13, 14, 15. Those are the ones I supposedly cleared. So black dragons, they're pretty bad. Don't have your kender taunt them, as they may kill him. <laughs> Make sure you've got fireballs, huh? How the heck would you have fireballs this early on in the game? Thanks, guide. <laughs> That's Someone would be doing an awful lot of grinding to have fireballs by now. 
Okay, and then uh, 14. Defeat some undead, zombies, gas, ghouls. So you can see some of the uh, stuff we got ID'd. We can get this ID'd in a second here. But wand of fireballs, ooh. Um, these are some of the most important <laughs> items in the game. We need the scroll later and we need the periapt. Proof versus poison. Huh. Anyway, we'll get those ID'd shortly so it's in game as well. I guess that's it. Six and seven. Skyla's ambush site. So yeah, Skyla left to report to Jellic. I don't think we found Jellic yet, did we? Huh. Oh, we're in the town of Jellic. Never mind, I'm dumb. He leaves the town. So Skyla has gone somewhere else. Probably the next dungeon, I guess. So we'll see him again later then, maybe. Okay, so I think that's... Sorry, I'm just kind of confused what's going on here. Yeah, it looks like... I think we've done everything we need to do in this in this area. I was just, you know, it's hard to tell. So what we'll do here is uh, we might just do some level up and then we'll go ID. I'll probably just go ID our, well, I'll do it on camera, I guess. But we're going to end our episode pretty quick. Uh, let's do our levels. We could go all the way back to the outpost to train up, but this is fine. I don't, I don't feel like it's cheating too much. It just saves a little bit of time here. So uh, just so you guys can see here. Pixel leveling up to Cleric level 4, some hit points, some more spells, Jural getting Cleric to level 4, uh, hit points, better Thaco, some saves, some spells, not even all that scary. I guess what we should do though is memorize some extras, seeing as that's like an additional hold person charge. Once uh, Tim gets another cleric level up, he's going to be really good against undead. I, I like it. Uh, we've got another level 3 slot. I'm just going to keep more dispel magics for the moment. Maybe a couple extra detect magics. Yeah, not too many spells. Not too many extra spells for that level. So that's easy. And uh, let me just restore those into Goldbox Companion. Okay, so let's go to the uh, shop, get our stuff identified, and then get out of here. Okay, so we're gonna pool our gold, and then pay to ID some of this stuff. We got a scroll. It's a scroll of protection from Dragon's Breath. Okay, I believe that's an area of effect. Everyone gets it. It's super awesome, so you generally end up saving this for like the end game Super Dragons, but yeah, that's a great spell. Or a great scroll spell. A Periapt of Proof versus Poison. I assume this makes you resist poison for a while. I don't actually know how these work, and I sure wouldn't want to waste it. And then indeed, a wand of fireballs to go with our wand of ice storms. Wow. Let's uh, trade this up to... I'll let the, uh, the Kender use it. Anyone can use wands. So now, Rob has an AoE raw, a wand, and Jarrell also has a AoE rod, wand. Is there anything else that needs IDing? We didn't get a whole lot of items in here. 
That might be all we picked up. Just that uh, one little loot. I would say this town kind of sucked in the grand scheme of things. We got that sword, but that's more for... I guess what we could do for Eren is switch over to two-handed swords when we want to fight dragons. Because they would do more damage than uh, a long sword against big enemies. Just less AC. Okay, share the... Actually, hold on. How much gold do we have just laying around here? 200 bucks, some gems and jewelry, not too bad. Share, and then as usual when we share, we're going to have Eren trade his gold over to Thornum on his steel and gems, because I don't want to lose it when we go to an outpost. Okay, well, it wasn't as conclusively cleared as I was hoping, but this town is cleared as far as I can tell. Mycelia says, I must stay here. Good luck. And then crashes Goldbox Companion. So every time that happens, we, uh... Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forget this screen every time. I don't know why. I I feel like I click it and it disappears for me. But then it doesn't cl clear for you guys. And that's really annoying. Um... I, I have to save here again so I can get Goldbox working again. I wish the I wish Goldbox didn't crash every time uh, a character joined or left. Really messes up my style here. Store spells there. Okay, future tubers, we're gonna clear up. We're gonna wrap up the episode here. Uh, we've got two more areas right here. We've got uh, looks like a tome and Gargath to the north. Um, I don't know which one's which. Oh, actually, one's an outpost. Hold on. We can just go to the outpost. So we could have gone here to rest up at any time. If I had recognized that this was an outpost, which maybe those are what the yellow dots are. You know, circles with the, the big yellow circles, maybe those are like towns or dungeons. And then the little yellow dots, maybe those are always outposts. But yeah, we could have come here to uh, train up. Also, it's probably the same armory as back. I think all the outposts are basically the same. You know. Alright, well maybe we should have talked to this guy before we went to the town. <laughs> I'm glad we've arrived safely. Caraman is now organizing the good armies. You must gather information on the enemy's strengths and plans. Go to Gargath. A dragon lance is rumored to be hidden there. This is a powerful weapon that you may use if you recover it. We have a man there who can protect you. Who can help you. May Paladin protect you. Okay, so we got some quests. Find the dragon lance. Maybe we should have gone to Gargath before we went to Jellic. I don't know. Could also save some money. Okay. So. Good. Excellent. Looks like there might be a hidden tome that's not on the map that you could just find by randomly wandering around. Now, because I have that on my map, it might be a little bit cheaty, but... You know, normally if you're playing this game blind, you would probably eventually walk onto every square trying to find stuff. <laughs> Because there are hidden entrances, so we'll have a look over there soon enough. But for now, we'll go, like we're told to, we'll go do our actual quest. We'll go to Gargath and try to get that Dragon Lance. Not just to be greedy, but like really, one Dragon Lance will make us a lot stronger against dragons. They are very powerful. You'll see, you'll see. Anyway, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, Future Tubers. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.